Well, first of all, I, at a personal level, I was very impacted by um, the traumas that had been going on in his mind and in his family. I've not to that extreme, obviously, but uh, we've, all, we've all been through that, and it was uh, it was really uh, moving to watch Danny's uh, 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 press conference yesterday, and I showed it, it showed a level of transparency and sincerity, um, which is what I have always recognised in him. Uh, look, I think he's made the right decision for his family, given what he has explained. Um, I also think that. Uh, public opinion in Gibraltar has, has judged Danny Featham quite harshly, as it is entitled to do. This is part of politics. Uh, I think my, my assessment of Danny's performance, and people should not underestimate just what a lonely, difficult job being leader of the opposition is immediately after a new government in a new political cycle is elected. I've been there, in, uh, and I know. Um, I think he has been a very brave courageous and committed service servant of the public interest of Gibraltar. Look, some of the issues that he has uh, courageously tackled are things that any self-respecting opposition would and is obliged and has a duty to do, regardless of whether it ignites electoral interest or the electorate's interests. And this is what Danny has done. He has had to confront issues which are not the issues that excite people in the street in sufficiently large numbers, and this has come back sort of to haunt him. My personal view is that Gibraltar desperately needs two strong political parties for the political system to work here. Uh, you know, and I have been struck over the last several months by how many known GSLP supporters have commented to me that uh, Gibraltar, you know, that they do, that they're worried about what's happening on the opposition side because it means that uh, uh, that you know Gibraltar doesn't have those two strong parties. And I really do believe that the GSD, which is a a much more deep rooted political party and institution, and much much more in the psyche of many people in Gibraltar than some people give it credit for, will survive, and it is still the best option for that second political party in Gibraltar to take over from the GSLP when the electorate think that that is in Gibraltar's best interests. And, of course, that will itself depend on somebody that can capture the uh, uh, interest and support of all sectors of the GSD, both internally within the party and of its traditional voter base, uh, harness all of that, reunite it, so to speak, uh, and take the GSD family forward as it used to be. And do you believe that that person uh, currently exists within the crop of GSD MPs? I was a newcomer to politics when I arrived, and I was able to do it, and therefore I suppose anybody else can do that too. Um, I'm not sure that anybody, any of the ones that are there today, aspire to that. And if they aspire to that, they may aspire to it later, in their political lives rather than now. Um, I believe that there are people out there who instinctively are GSD, uh, uh, members of the GSD family, um, who could, if they were interested in a political career, take a, a step forward and fill and seize this opportunity. We're all Gibraltarians first. We're all Democrats first. And we all want Gibraltar to have all the political options available to it that it might need for its own defense in the future first, long before we are members of one or supporters of one political party or another. Well, no doubt, following Mr. Featham's announcement yesterday, there would have been phone calls made and people meeting in cafes, having conversations already. Is that the sort of thing that you would expect to happen? I would expect it to happen. I hope it is happening. Uh, and that is what democracy is about. Look. Uh, perhaps one of the things that Danny has suffered from is that the GSD had become too much about me and not enough about all the other people that were working hard to make whatever I was able to achieve in the GSD possible. Mm. Um, and, you know, yesterday he referred to the difficult task of, of following in my footsteps, and I think this is what he meant, that, you know, that it was, it, it was a difficult act to follow in the sense that, that you know, the, the focus had been too much on the person of Peter Caruana and insufficiently 
on the party as a larger and broader and deeper organization. Uh, as it had been when we, when we won the 1996 election. And I think I know the answer to this question already, but uh, are you at all tempted to come back into the fold? Oh, it, it's always tempting, but I have said that I, have, I am done with party political mm, politics in Gibraltar, and I think that is right. I don't, for a start, I don't think my family would allow me to return to politics you know, of, that, of that sort, even if, even if the opportunity arose. No, I honestly believe that, look, people gave me a fantastic opportunity of 16 years to shape the destiny of this community. I did what I could, and I am always there, as I have been since the day I stood down in December, in, uh, in, in, since I lost the election in December, to assist whatever government is in office of whatever political color to, uh, in whatever I can and whatever they think I can contribute, uh, to the resolution of this or that problem that Gibraltar might face at any, give, at any given moment. And that, I think, is as, as best I can help Gibraltar today.